it's quite typical of China, you know, it's about 11 or so at night and still got people working and doing the construction. It, kind of, it, goes, on, it goes on through the night and uh, in shifts as far as I'm aware. It never stops. That's why China's been able to grow so quickly is because they, they don't have unions, you know. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing this is one of the big main streets in the city. Having driven through it, there really isn't much here. And that over there must be some kind of a sauna or a... Let's see if I can figure out the answer on it. Yeah, it's some kind of an entertainment uh, sauna. That's the kind of place you, you go to if you want to take a sauna, a shower, get a massage and you know, if it's in China you might get something else. Something you can take home and give to the family. Uh, right, well... I don't want to disappear and wander off too far because i got to be up early. So this is just a preliminary little look around. Tomorrow, I'll be doing a lot of those, uh, a lot of that whole Chinese social drinking and uh, carrying on. But afterwards, if I'm still compass mentis and have some time, I'll definitely take another look around, a little bit more in depth. Oh. I swear, these lights mean nothing around here. Yeah, I booted her. Tell her to get out the way. <laughs> what I'm actually looking for is a convenience store. Which I haven't found yet. Which is odd. Electric bikes. See how many of these things are around here. Dian Dong Chu, Dian Dong Chu. You know, uh, I don't get it. They have a full-size scooter chassis, which must, you know, it weighs quite a bit. Um, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Well, other than the fact that you can pack it full of batteries. Yeah. One thing I do notice is that, I don't know, a lot of interesting little uh, sort of restaurants, but they seem to have a slightly different way of doing things around here when, you know, as far as the restaurants are concerned. Looks like people, when they come and sit down for a meal, lasts for hours. I mean, you know, <laughs> they come in at about 4 or 5 and only leave at 10 or 11 at night. Guess there's nothing else to do. Interesting. Hairdresser. We'd like to try and get some snaps. I'll try and get some photos. Um, yeah. Well, I must say, interesting. More bikes. Okay, so look, I'm going to sign off for now. And if I spot anything of any importance or anything interesting along the way, I'll be sure to add it. Cheers. Now, a little earlier tonight, I parked past a very big park. This was on the way back from dinner. And it actually looked quite interesting. Um, seemed to have a big lake or something in the middle and some stages and things like that. So, what I'm going to try and do is, tomorrow, I'm going to try and find it all. Tomorrow night, hopefully, if I get some more time to myself, I will um, go for quite a walk because I think it's at least a, a half an hour or more's walk from here. So I'll go for a walk, take a look, and uh, hopefully get some good footage, let you guys see what it's all about. All right, so until then, I guess it's time for me to sign off. Yeah, and I'm going to miss out on the pizza. Well, <clears throat> so tell I'm staying here. Just get to my room. What is it here? Huh. Get some light.
right son in here. Well, uh, one thing I have noticed about this town is that the, the police presence is actually significantly higher. I mean, they're all over in Shenzhen, you see them all over the place, but over here, I mean, they just, they just seem to be more police per people, I suppose that's what it is. And uh, for instance, when I came back into the hotel, there was a police guy looking through the records of all the people who've checked in for today. You know, it's normally something you don't see. Uh, in Shenzhen anyway. I guess it's just because of the, the vast amount of people there that they get drowned out. Anyway, so that's my exploring for tonight. Got a big day tomorrow. So, uh, seems to be a bit of a local attraction. Um, uh,